Do you know what, Rod? I have to good. say, if he had met him back then, they would have had babies. Do you reckon? <laughs> God, what were you obsessed with when you were younger? Just fashion. Mm. Anything to do with fashion and image and style. From a really young age, I just was was always fascinated by it. And and this is going to sound like a really odd story, but I guess my first entree into the fashion industry was was my sister getting changed, which sounds really odd. You really need to follow this up quickly. <laughs> okay, so, so my sister's four years older than me, and she's always been my idol, and she still is now. And she would go to school in her school uniform. And so I'd see my sister come home and she would then go to her bedroom and she would get changed and she'd suddenly appear two minutes later as, like, a new romantic goth. And she'd have the quiff and the oversized blazer oh, yeah. and the tube skirt and the, the brothel creepers. And I just remember thinking that, that within two minutes you have just illuminated my life with just this, it, this style. Anybody that felt confident in their clothes, I was obsessed with them. Well, we're going to have a look at some of your faces, some of, yes, some of your clothes, please. in yes. a little item that I am calling Rod and Gox Fashion <laughs> Cups. I mean, so far, <laughs> so far. Right, so, so 13 years old here. This is, right. this is the transformation outfit. This is the outfit that my mum bought me that summer when I suddenly became the superhero and I was had enough of the bullies. I've got the Aaron jumper from mm. Marks and Spencer's. I had one. I had I've one. got the chinos, I've yep. got the brogues, and I bowled into school. It was a non-uniform wearing school. Yeah. Bowled into school and I felt so hot and so sexy and so confident when this became my superhero outfit. And then we're going to move across. So yeah, we're going to jump okay. forward a few years now. So we're now I mean... talking in the 90s. Rave culture had just hit the UK. You weren't wearing male clothes and female clothes. You would wear whatever you wanted to. This was probably my first entree into the rave scene. Now, as a DJ, if I looked out to the audience and I saw someone in this, I'd probably just switch off the deck for the <laughs> So the rave culture had gone. Now I'm at college, but I'd gone to do performing arts. I wanted to be an actor. Everyone was kind of cool, hippie. They were well read. They were, you know, aspirations to travel and I wasn't I wasn't that person and I thought well if I look like that person I'm gonna get further on this course I'm gonna fit in with everyone I had hundreds of these like so many beads I'd put so many <laughs> beads on I couldn't lift my neck and I was kind of walking into college like but I felt so cool and then Whoa. who's this one <laughs> well this <laughs> Not one of yours got this. This is not. This is definitely not one this. of mine. Well, have a guess who this is. Th is have this a guess. Rod? Is uh, that you? This cool oh, dude. Wow. I was... like this. This works. These would have been a bit baggier. Lots of pockets. Pepe jeans. Yeah. Lots of pockets for the yeah. condoms you never use. <laughs> <laughs> cardigan, Log, cardigan or jumper. Amazing. And a little pencil an moustache. If it wasn't looking thick enough, I would sometimes do a bit of eyeliner pencil and bulk up my moustache a bit. Do you know that what, Rod? I have to good. say, if he had met him back then. They would have had babies. Do you reckon? <laughs> had babies. Brilliant. Thank you, Gok. Thank that you is very much. Yeah. Rod and Gok's fashion. Yeah. Full power. Full power.